hi everyone i hope that you're all doing great and i've done my diy stick-ons and i'm still encouraging those of you who are eczematas like me and cannot go to salons to try and sign up for a how to start doing your nails workshop because i can encourage you to start creating your own at home nail kits so today i am doing a review of la roche presse sunscreens and i know that everybody tells you to wear sunscreen but i've realized that sunscreen needs you to be at a particular point in your life where self-care is a priority and you don't just start wearing sunscreen just like that you usually have to have learned how to layer moisturizers and cleanse yourself gently because sunscreen is an active ingredient just like niacinamide retinol and all those ingredients that you guys use on your skin so if you have not prepared your skin for the use of sunscreen then it's likely that you will react to sunscreen especially if it's chemical sunscreen so that's why for me um mineral sunscreen is a favorite and i keep on reviewing brands of my favorite reviewing my favorite brands of mineral skincare from time to time of note there is a kenyan brand that i can't wait to speak about once my medical spa is open but i will get back to that later let's deal with la roche Posay. so as i said Using sunscreen needs you to be at a particular point in your life where self-care is a priority. So the use of sunscreen does not feel like a lot of work to you. There are a few disappointments that I have about how we use sunscreen as Kenyan women. Number one, most of us don't apply it on our hands and even our shoulders. So you notice that most of our ladies by the age 20 may have really fair faces because they're taking care of their faces, but their hands and their feet are very dark. Now, of note, you do get sun damage as a child before the age of 18. So naturally, your feet may just be slightly darker than your face. But you perpetuating that darkness is what is wrong. Beyond the age of 20, you should have a good moisturizing regimen and a sunscreen regimen as well. So now let's begin with a few of my favorite picks from La roche Perse. So we have the Anthelios 50 Plus hydrating lotion ultra protection ultra resistant very water plus sweat resistance for sensitive dry skin and it's non-perfumed now for those of you who have been following me you will note that i have always told you that i am eczematous so this would have actually been my first pick because i am dry and sensitive and if you've been watching a lot of the content i've been doing i usually tell you guys that sensitivity is actually a genetic condition so most of you call yourself sensitive but you're actually not sensitive you are sensitized because of poor skincare so your skin is reactive those of us who are born with moderate to severe eczema for example or mild eczema are actually born sensitive we are born dry so we have to pick skincare that is hypoallergenic and does not react on us so that's why la roche posay developed this it's a chemical sunscreen as you can see it does not leave a white cast it is a very rich um sunscreen and if you want to be more um much more disciplined at applying sunscreen I would request you to start putting sunscreen somewhere where you can see it when you're dressing. For example, for me, I have a dresser and I put my sunscreen on top of the dresser. So it always makes me wear my sunscreen before I leave the house. So this is a really good pick for people who have dry skin, eczema, or you feel like you're dull. Okay, this has been created for dry and sensitive skin or women who are older than the age of 40 and want to start sunscreen because they usually have very little water content in their bodies and therefore react to most skincare. So that's number one. Number two, we have a Anthelios spray. This I will love you guys to try. It is invisible spray, 50 plus ultra protection ultra resistant for sensitive skin which most of their products will say they are because chemical sunscreen tends to be allergic to most people so the fact that uh la roche actually says 
sensitive means that they have taken most of your skin issues into consideration so these sunscreens are safe to use as much as their chemical sunscreens you can actually start using them regardless on whether you've actually been having a regimen or not so why i love this sunscreen is it's easy to apply on the body you see most of you are really lazy about application of sunscreen on the body so this gives you an easy time so actually in my bags i always carry sunscreen i have a workout bag because sometimes i work out in the sun i have a regular bag that i use when i'm running errands both of them have sunscreens learn to apply reapply sunscreen as a woman that's why most kenyan women actually do not have even tones from their face to their bodies number one is of course the sun damage you've had as a child but more importantly actually which is number two is moisturizing so if you want sunscreen to settle well on your body you have to be really well moisturized and for those who follow my content i've been advising you you must moisturize yourself before the shower and after the shower really important if you want to maintain a really good skin barrier that is well hydrated which products set well in without reactions so definitely i will carry that in my bag for reapplying during the day on my body so we have this for pediatrics children actually or babies should start wearing sunscreen from the age of six months and for the rest of their lives so this is um specifically made for children hypoallergenic meaning they've made consideration to the fact that children's skin can be really reactive to sunscreens so i will definitely still use this myself because i have sensitive skin and i will put it in one of my day bags um one is for my gym bag the other one is for my regular kawaida errands bag now we have this um very high protection and paleo's uv immune 400 and it says anti-eye stinging which for me is a problem as a sensitive skinned also sensitive eyed individual so what they are trying to tell you with this is that you can safely apply it around the eyes and we can actually test it i am going to give that a test this is going to be on my dresser so i'm going to be applying it whenever i'm going out of the house so of note if you're applying sunscreen the way you should you, you will be running out of sunscreen cream often so um give this a try now let me say something i've noted that most um beauty stores will give this for people with acne and i've been noticing that some of them say that it does have an oily film so i would like to suggest to you to try the lotion if you feel that this may be oily though of note it's very light as you can see i can see where you'd you'd feel that it does it does feel leave a shimmery look and you see for um oily skinned people this may be a problem so i just say that maybe you shouldn't use this if you are oily skinned you would rather pick other forms of sunscreen like the lotion it might settle well better on your face because it can also be applied on the face now we have another pick here this is actually another good option for people like me who are dry skinned and those of you who are actually doing um, acne regimens with medical doctors it is a Amphilius uv mu 400 hydrating cream so um, the hydrating cream may actually settle in better than the lotion for people who are oily skinned. My biggest problem, and that's why most damas do not use sunscreens on I, oh, I, oh, on oh, oily acne prone people, most damas in Kenya, because they can't really sometimes figure out a sunscreen that works well with you without diluting your medication. So this is another good option for those who have acne excuse me you see it's creamy doesn't leave a shimmer i love this and i will definitely recommend it for those with acne it's the hydrating cream and pillows so my recommendations for those with, with acne are either of these two i know that you're you have struggles with picking um sunscreens that match your oily skin so this is a great pick either the lotion 
preferably the hydrating cream so now we get to another pack and this is the uh anthelios for baby so these anthelios for children and this specifically is for the atopic prone baby skin so for those of you who want to start your babies on sunscreen from the age of six months we have something that's extremely been created hypoallergenic for that age group so we usually call children children at least from the age of two years when we start calling them toddlers so for those between the age of six months and two years this anthelios for baby is really good and so let us get an idea of the feel so we tear into this box into boxes oopsie so let's see because for me i judge a product by how it feels on my skin so for babies of course oh look at this creamy feel so it does leave a white cast because it mostly most likely is made up of mineral components when you are dealing with baby skin you want to avoid chemical sunscreens as much as you can unless they are really good brands so when you look at the ingredients list for this before i throw the pack then we can probably spot why it's leaving a white cast i love the texture though for those of you who are also doing acne treatments and have watched my videos because you see the white cast is easy to blend in have watched my videos on how to blend in mineral sunscreen this is also a good pick for you because i'm always looking out for acne prone ladies so now um i'm trying to look for the ingredients because I want to understand why it has a white cast though i'd understand anything that's hypoallergenic mostly borders on mineral yeah it has titanium dioxide so it's probably um actually this is a mineral sunscreen because i'm not seeing the products that make sunscreen uh chemical sunscreen so this would be a great pick for me also for acne prone individuals. So I'll leave it at that. I'm so grateful for the La Roche-Posay brand for giving me their packs so that I can give a review for you guys and keep being moisturized. Moisturize before and after the shower if you want these sunscreens to settle well on your skin and not irritate you. La Roche-Posay is a good brand, so it's highly unlikely that the sunscreens will irritate you, but you never know how your skin will handle this. So thank you very much. Thank you.